Good morning. Are you ready to shine? Or are you just gonna wait in line? Welcome back to week nine of season five of our 15 second quote series. We are going to continue adding skills taught previously this season together. But first, let's take a look at the person who said today's quote, Salvador Dali. Salvador Dali was a Spanish surrealist painter, printmaker, and even sculptor who became famous for his wide understanding of different mediums and his deep exploration of the subconscious mind. As a student, Dali explored a variety of artistic styles, but what captured his heart was the Surrealist movement, which sought to establish the greater reality of the human subconscious over reason. Some of his most famous works are The Persistence of Memory, Dream Caused by the Flight of a Bee, and Swans Reflecting Elephants. I was lucky enough to see a lot of his work at the Salvador Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida this past summer. It was stunning to say the least. In this quote, we step inside the mind of Salvador Dali. Have no fear of perfection. You'll never reach it. This week, we are using tone and facial expressions together. If you need a refresher, pause this video and watch episodes three and four for that refresher. Are you back? Excellent. As a reminder, tone is how we convey our emotions when speaking. Our tone of voice directly affects how our audience will interpret what we say and how to respond to it. Facial expressions, similar to tone, show how we feel about what we are saying. In this quote, we are going to use a humorous tone of voice for the first sentence, have no fear of perfection. We are doing this to emphasize that perfection isn't something we should fear. We want to emphasize that it is silly to fear whether we can achieve perfection or not, because we aren't supposed to. We are growing and developing human beings, not robots or algorithms. Then in the second half of the quote, have an informal and lighthearted tone of voice. You'll never reach it. To show compassion with our audience, because we too have aimed for perfection and felt the frustration of falling short. Next, we are going to add facial expressions to complement the tones of voice we used. First, we are going to smile and raise our eyebrows, almost like we are surprised by what somebody has said to us on the first half of the quote. Have no fear of perfection. Then we are going to lower our eyebrows and use a soft smile on the second half of the quote. You'll never reach it. We are doing this to support the compassionate tone of voice we are using. When these facial expressions are used in sync with the tones we chose for this quote, we speak with an impactful presence and leave our audience with something to remember. Utilize tone of voice with facial expressions to create clarity with your words, to help your audience understand what your intentions are, and to add dynamics to your speech. I hope that little tip was helpful. Definitely send some mini hearts, share with your friends and family. Coach Shannon is signing out. See you next week.